Hi guys, what's up? It's your girl Light Skin Mommy and we're back with another motherfucking video. Yes, I made it worse. I forgot to say that, but I made it worse. Anyways, as y'all can tell by the title, this is episode 13 um, of the Laura Michaela series. Um, if you've been following the series, then you know what's been going on these this couple has been just they're driving me bananas they're driving me bananas but into who um before we get started make sure you like make sure you comment down below and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already join our group gang family sorry if you're new here but i don't normally look this disgusting i mean if you have checked out my older videos i do kind of look disgusting but like i've been trying to make myself look a little bit better when i come on here presentable wise as far as what I look like, but you know, sometimes I'm human, so sometimes you know, I gotta, I be having human things happening to me. Like my face is terrible right now. But anyways, we're not here to talk about that. Is we so? Is we? Wow, no English. Um, y'all see that was my, not my favorite. Anyways, we are gonna get into this video. It is called "Calling Laura Out." I want the truth. It was uploaded two days ago on May 15th, 2021, and without further, oh, hold on, let me close the door, let me close the door, because I had to turn the AC on, because it was mad hot, it was mad hot in here, sorry, just make sure y'all didn't, y'all know what I mean, and tell who, we're going to get into it, as we should, and we ain't going to talk about what I got on. Stop it. Child, anyway, so let's get into it. Um, as we should. Bro, press play for me. Press play for me, sweetheart. Anyways. So she wants us to follow her TikTok and follow her Insta, Michaela. Dot brand. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl Michaela, and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. Uh, guys, sorry. Because I'm just, I'm just been looking rough. But you know, it's whatever. Cause like I'm still a bad bitch. Huh. So um, as y'all can tell by this title. I'm gonna be talking about some things and like I don't care whose feelings get hurt, I don't care who gets mad behind it, I really I don't care because I'm venting and I'm telling y'all how I feel and what I feel about certain situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this, you know what I'm saying? So not her outside of McDonald's so. not make it easy. I'm just kidding. The video that me and Laura made, okay? So in the video I was touching bases with her about how her feelings still were towards me and stuff like that. And she said several times, like, she didn't want to really express herself. She didn't want to drag me on. She didn't want to say that she missed me because she didn't want me to think, like, that it was anything other than that. And I respect that. I feel that. Because, like, some some people would want that, like, for Thanks. a person to be like, um, no, like, I don't care. To make you forget about Ignore her. Ignore this net or like that. or whatever like, fuck you call it. The thing it. is, I already know that she misses me without her even having to speak on me or even say anything to me it's just the fact that we were together for so long every single day and we had our routines and we did stuff together we had we built a whole foundation together so at the end of the day that's always going to sit there as long as people are bringing up my name to her or mentioning me to her or she sees me on social media she's forever going to miss me because we had that kind of bond you know what i'm saying like it wasn't just a regular relationship no me and laura went through um we went through a lot. Some stuff that y'all don't even have no clue about what we went through. We were down bad at one point in life. We stopped going to school. We weren't focused on the right stuff. We were doing horrible things that we should not have been doing. And, like, me and her both came together and were going through these things. And then we built ourselves out of that together as as a couple. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you should. knowing that you were at your lowest, you your breaking point somebody and then you got to a good point with somebody like it all it all it all adds up it all means something to people you know what I'm saying so like of course she's gonna miss me of course she still has love for me like that's not gonna fade and if it does fade it's not gonna be anytime soon but um I want to say that Laura I still care about you and you're in my mind every single day every waking minute I honestly have dreams all the time about you. Like, you're just still in my mind. And I feel as though, like, our time was cut short. And I feel like we weren't, and we still are meant for each other. Like, we're very compatible. 
about me, then don't hide it. Don't hide it. Don't make me feel as if you're moving on and you're being happy with another person and then that'll draw me away from you. I don't I don't want to be confused. I don't want mixed emotions. I want the truth and I want everything laid out flat on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. If somebody gets hurt behind it, then somebody's going to get hurt behind it. There shouldn't be no lies. There shouldn't be no arguments. There should be nothing. You know what I'm saying? It all could be handled so simply. It all could be out of the way. It could all be done. But like I said, I felt like our time fell short because of God. And you know we have a very serious relationship with God. And I'm very strong on feelings and vibes and everything. So, like, when I say what I'm saying is because I feel the energy. I know what's going to happen. I know how everything's going to play out. That's me too. And and that's because I talk to God constantly. And God always tells me, do not give up on what's in your heart or what's always in the back of your mind. So I'm not going to give up on something that I don't think deserves to be given up on. If I feel like I want to fight for something, God I'm going to fight for something. I'm not going to, I'm not going to just sit back and let everything, you know, like do its course. I'm going to work on what I need to work on so I can live the course that I'm, that I'm, that's meant for me, if that makes sense. Um. That makes sense. I see a lot of stuff within you. And I know you like the back of my hand. And that's period. And I can tell you're not who you were. You're not the Laura that I fell in love with. She's been saying this in the past, what? You are putting on This is what, the third video we've been watching, she said that? be something that you're not. Um, not in a bad way or anything, but like, you're just not, you're just not you right now. And I can feel it. And I can tell, I can see in how you move, your body languages, everything. Thanks. Like, and I want you to know that I constantly pray for you and I pray that good, good things keep happening to you and that you keep moving forward, that nothing holds you back, that you make the right decisions. Like, I pray for your health. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm never going to be the person that's going to pray on your because of the that you're doing or want bad for you because of the things that you're doing yeah. no i genuinely still care about you and i want you to be doing well whether or not we end up um together again or if we end up never talking again i'm still gonna want the best for you because you know for a fact i have been nothing but a genuine female that has loved you from day one to now like and that's just facts i'm a real ass i'm a real ass bitch okay and my love that I give is not just no regular ass love. No, if I love you, I'm going to love you hard as fuck. And I'm not going to hide that from nobody. I'm going to be that because that's what I am. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to push it to the side and forget about it. No, I'm going to express how I feel because that's how I feel. And if I don't, if I don't smoke on anything, if I let all this shit play out or this, that, and the third, like, what would I be? I wouldn't be happy. I wouldn't be even moving forward in my life if I just sat back and was sad about it all. I had to um, do something. But I'm going to just cut this video short because y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know where I'm coming from. Um, Laura, stop trying to hide your emotions. Stop trying to hide how you really feel. It's okay to not be sure, but I know for sure that you're sure. And I know for sure that you know how you feel. And don't hide that from nobody. Be who you want to be. Love yourself first. If you want to take a break, love yourself. Get to know yourself. Don't have a distraction sitting in your face all the time. Because I know that's all this female is. She's just a distraction for you. Because you've always been like that since the day I met you. You never could express yourself. But the fact of the matter is, I'm a fucking wife. So when something wasn't right, I would already know. You never had to tell me. So, the sim- the simple way to put this is, Take time for yourself. Be yourself. Take time. Find yourself. Love yourself. Express yourself. Don't be afraid of anything. Nothing can stop you. You're a fucking boss. You're fucking Laura, Laura Najum. So don't let nobody be a distraction to you and you not fulfill everything that you're supposed to do. Everything that God's made for you. Don't let nothing block you out from that. And I'm speaking straight facts. And I don't know if you feel me or not. But if you feel me. Then you know what I'm talking about. Don't, don't let nobody ever, ever hold you back. 
be you riding around with no seatbelt. Like, always be who the she fuck you're risk supposed it. to be. And that's facts. But I said what I said. Y'all heard what I said. I meant everything I said. And that's period. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and all my social... Anyways, y'all go follow her, whatever the case may be. Um, really, all I gotta say about the whole thing is like, I like how she uplifting her, you know, keeping good good spirits on her, or like her thought process on on Laura as a person because like she could be like, you know, fuck this, that, and the third that you got going on, like, uh, uh, you know, you doing this, that, and the third, da, da, da. like she could be going off like that, but she not. She like, you know whether we do end up back together or whether we you know we just stay how we are or just end up being friends at the end of the day you know however it is between me and you i really do wish you bigger and better and uh, and, and more more greatness to come into your life you know what i mean and for you to grow and to prosper and all that good stuff like i like i like the fact that she just she just be thinking and saying stuff positively genuinely nice and everything so that's all I'm gonna, I'm gonna say about this video. You know, nothing too much. Y'all heard what she said. Y'all heard what she said. Anyways, again, I do apologize for my face because I know that's a big. Mm. But anyways, um, and again for that net net whatever the hell you want to call the damn flying shit that was flying through the video messing with me and shit. Um, yeah. But anyways, <clears throat> I love you guys. Always do. Um, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you like her speech? Did you like her her video to Laura? <clears throat> Let me know down in the comments. And also leave a like. And also subscribe if you haven't already to join the Groovy Gag family. And without further ado, we just gonna move on to the next video. I love you guys. Bye. Chill.